Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. Um, anytime I find something that I need to do a lot, uh, I think maybe it'll be good to produce a video, show you guys. And even though I've covered some of these same things before, I don't think it hurts to cover some of them again. So what we're going to do today is I, I need to do some ear shapes. And even though in Character Creator you can do some ear things, um, like if you go up to you know the ears and then you turn on the sculpt morphs for the ears, you can get some you know some movement here, and then you can do a bake, and then you can get some more movement, you know, get further further movements out, um, and that's okay, but that's not necessarily the easiest way to do it. Then you have to keep baking this all the time and moving it out, and I don't know, it just it it doesn't give you as much creation as you'd like, I don't think so. So instead, what I'd like, like to do is to uh, use the morphs from Daz uh, for these ears. Ear morphs are, are, like I say, extreme morphs. It's easier to do, and I'm, I'm actually looking for a pair of ears in particular for a particular character, which you might even be able to guess if you've been following recent series. So uh, what I did is I have this fantasy ear section here, and I have this as a base mail. Whatever you want to do, whenever you want to generate a base morph, that you want to use inside a character creator. You always want to start off with a base mail, export that, bring that over into character creator, and then save that out, which I've already done as my base mail figure. And you'll see how we'll use that in a second. So now with this base mail figure already saved out, then I just want to apply uh, some of these crazy ear things to it. So like, uh, let's uh, we'll just do fantasy ears one. We'll just apply this to it. Okay, so we get these weird fantasy ears. And then we'll go ahead, file, and export. That's, by the way, that was in your shapes directory for this. So we'll go uh, fan ears or one. I've already done this with a number of the ears. These are your normal settings. Nothing extraordinary about it. This is how you always export things. Just export this into... Um, the FBX file that we're going to... And you can only do one morph at a time, unfortunately. You can, for hair and for, um, you know, other clothing items, you can import into Character Creator more than one morph. But for body morphs, you can't. So we'll go up here. We'll take those fantasy ears. We'll import them in. And this is one of the very few times that we want to use basic... Um, you can use advanced if you want. And, and advanced we always recommend for every other thing that you do. But because there's really no point in anything else, but basic for the morphs because you really don't really care about any textures whatsoever, we're just looking for those morphs. So, uh, this won't take very long. Comes up here, and that's where we're just going to ignore all this. We're going to say okay because we just want that morph to come in, it's all we're looking for here. And uh, then we come in, and eventually, <laughs> after it bakes those textures, we have the morph, and there's the morph. Okay, so there's that ear morph. So now we're going to go out here and save that. We're going to export it as an avatar, and we're going to call it, oh, wait, some, excuse me, the export settings came over in the other room. And I don't really care about the export settings. These are, as long as you're going to erase them afterwards, you can use anything you want, but you can use as little bit as that because the texture settings don't even matter. We're just interested in that morph itself. I'm going to export it, and you can see I've done this with a lot of them, uh, but we'll use fan ears 01. So we've already exported all those things. So now, all you want to do is, we want to create, we can go up here, we'll do a file, new project, and we won't save that. Just want to show you how this works now to create the Morris. is real simple. So here, here, we're going to go here, create, morph slider, and again, it's over on my other screen, <laughs> and we're going to call it fan ear zero one it is a head that's the category we want to set it as and we always want to use the file of that default remember i told you default file so there's that default file that i already created that has no morphs to it whatsoever just a real simple plain file and now the ear morphs is that one that we want to go so the plain file has no morphs whatsoever just the plain avatar from daz it has to be from daz you can't use a plain avatar from cc3 i mean you bring it in the to CC3, but just from Daz. Save it out, and that's basically it. You just do that, and it creates that, that morph. And, and you can actually create more than one morph uh, doing this process. You don't have to do anything here. So we create another one if we want. I have multiple ones that I've saved. Here, 03, we'll make that 03. And again, the base file that we already saved that base file out, and then the file that we want it to morph into, which is... Oh, I don't have 03. I thought I had 03. I guess I didn't import it here. All right, well, we'll, we'll, 
cancel. I did the other ones here, but I, I thought I, I thought I imported that out. All right. Well, anyway, so once you, <laughs> sorry about that. Once you're done with that, once you're done with all you're doing of your of your morphs, then you end up with all these these morphs over here that you can use, and you can use them in combination with each other. You know, you can, uh, and this is how I'm going to then generate my uh, basic ears. I always like to turn on the uh, the subdivision to get a nice smoother look to it. Um, and the nice thing about this is even after you've done this and you, you know, you get your ear looking, you know, much the way you want it here, you can still edit it with these controls. So these, the, the controls that are there for the regular ears will work with this because uh, basically they're, all we've done is just apply, uh, just apply extreme morphs to it. So, uh, everything else still works the same and you can then still bake it and, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm getting close to the, just playing around here I'm getting close to the ears that I want to use for this character and you probably can guess what character that is um, anyway so that's it so that's that's all you would do and, and you can bake it if you want to get more and more extreme but basically that's how you can use morphs inside and create your whole set of uh, your own set of of morphs to do anything you want here um, and it's kind of nice and so you can have your own set of thousands of morphs just like uh, real illusion supplies you with morphs to do things all right well, hopefully that helps and we'll see you around the forums <laughs>